Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Welcome. You sounded so excited, MC. Oh, it was an excellent episode. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, intro us in. Go ahead. <laughs> but we're, we're back. Survivor, season 30. Mm -hmm. How is it? It is season 30. <laughs> yeah, it's season 30. I have this extensive document that doesn't have that in, in it. <laughs> I missed that yeah. part. See, you, you have the analytics on like how many how many confessionals they had during the episode, but you don't have what season it was. <laughs> yeah, season thirty, worlds apart. Now I didn't pay attention enough to actually know is this on one of the old islands again? No, it's a it new isn't. place. I don't. I don't. I not. I don't. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. Well, I can at least tell that they had a budget this time, other than like a ten nickels. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. Is they, good. they they had they had some change ups in terms of like just general quality. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. because I, I never saw anywhere it said, granted, I watched it one time a couple days ago, and I was trying to, like, catch up on it real quick just before we did this again, but I was watching it, like, two speed, just trying to get, like, quick things I could out of it, but I never actually paid attention where they said they were, because Survivor Worlds Apart doesn't really tell me location. Speaking of Worlds Apart, should we just tell them what that means exactly? Yeah, let's do it. So what does it mean, Goo? Um, so they've divided the tribes up into white collar, blue collar, and no collar. White collar being uh, people that were at least going to college. Um, blue collar being just your your worker, your factory workers, that type of thing. And no collar being people that are um, free spirited, so, right? Self employed, doing their own thing, type of thing. It, it was weird how they 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 talked about it. They wanted to make sure, like, it's not exclusively what job they have. It's also their view on life. Because they yeah. had some people who were kind of like, like we had a lawyer who was inside free spirited because she was like, she's she's trying to be the crazy hippie lawyer. She's kinda. just a law. She's just a law student. She's not actually oh, got well. her law degree yet. Well, but and still. I, ironically, them yeah. saying that when they were asking the tribes about how they felt about that, the one guy said, "Well, my nine to five doesn't define me, but it defined him into the white collar area." Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So what do you guys think about the premise? I will tell you, last season when they introed it during the last episode, I was skeptical. I was like, I don't know how this is going to This gonna ain't going to work. This is, this is going to be bad. This yeah. is, this is, this is uh, splitting them into ethnic tribes again, you know, based on their ethnicity. Yeah, that's what I thought after season one or after episode one. I'm like, dude, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. Yeah. I wonder how long it'll last because last time they did Tribes of Three like that, they did Emerge pretty quick. And so, to me, that's that's what's going to determine whether or not this even matters. Well, is how quick did they do the merge? Well, didn't they do the merge really quick? Because wasn't that the the one with uh, what's his name, Power, like Russell Powers or something like that, where he like passed out, and, or it was the one he came back after passing out when he got like medically evac'd. But didn't their one tribe actually go down? Like they lost every challenge at the beginning, so the yeah, tribe was down to like three. Yeah, yeah, but I mean that could easily happen again, right? It could. It could. Do you think I mean, it's going to watch... go for longer if it doesn't? But, you know, in the past, they've always said that they just, that they have the moment of the merge decided regardless of how the challenges go. So if that's true, maybe, maybe, maybe it was different that season. But they always make it sound like when they're going to merge is decided before the season ever starts airing, regardless of how the challenges go. When the merge happens, it always happens at the same. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. In I'm... preparation for this season, I actually watched Cook Islands, which was the uh, ethnicity one. And uh, their merge, it happened later than you would think. They, they did, like, I think two different shuffles during it. I kind of forget already because it's been all month I've been watching it. But, yeah, they did uh, two shuffles in the middle of it. But the actual three-tribe system before they first shuffled only lasted, like, maybe two episodes. I think they shuffled on the third episode. Man, that would be... Can you imagine shuffling that early on if you were playing the game? Like, your strategy instantly is already out the window. Mm -hmm. like yeah. alliances you made are really hard to well they were they were trying to like bonds give they're like trying to give that that, that like inside that case they were saying like hey let, let's let's get the people all like you know me and my brothers you know and like let, we'll come back and surprise everybody when we reunite after the merge but that never happened yeah, that, there, never there, happens. That, that wasn't enough to make people bond so the question is will how these people's way of life let's let's throw ethnicity out the window because it's kind of a dumb way to try to do it anyway let's try to do how they live their life, and that's a better way of doing it. That's I would true. Say. That's so. true. Because they actually might, when they do come back together later, because you know they're going to shuffle and then come back to. Some of them will come back together. They might yeah. actually, you know, gravitate toward their way of life. Do we want to name all eighteen contestants? <laughs> what they do for? Well, a living? hold on, hold on. Before we get into that, 
I wanted to mention something before the last episode. So we had the argument about the buff inside our, our season 29 finale recap about what the logo looked like. And I went to three conventions here inside January. Three survivor conventions? No, uh, three video gaming conventions. <laughs> but, but it just so happened, we were walking, walking back into the one convention center, and I saw a bumper sticker. A survivor bumper sticker that says buff on it. It's the buff logo. Okay. And look and I took a picture just for good. It is colored white <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> look at that. Is, is that is that like on purpose? Are they doing that on well, purpose? Well see and MC, you just gave them too much credit. You said it's colored white on the inside, implying no. they colored it white. I think they just they had to. to they, they mass produced these things. They, they they must have the first mass production, they forgot. They they, they screwed up. It's gotta be what it is. There's no way that's on purpose. Like, I mean, at this point, it might be, but God, that's like crappy design. Like that, that well, deserves like the top of some crappy design site. That was the season with low budget. So, I mean, it's like taking one olive out of the salads on the airplane, like meals. Maybe it was their way of saving like thousands of dollars in the long run. <laughs> We're gonna save on this yellow ink yes. for sure. But see, now I'm wondering if it's always been like that. Like, if we need to, we need to go deeper. We need to go back older seasons and look at their buffs and see if the buff thing is colored in or not. The buffs, the buffs. So, Goo, do you want to go through and name all 18 people? Sure. It's a Madoc about as well, right? <laughs> I'll so along I'll with you. On a on white collar, we have So. What a name! Who names their kids So? <laughs> you know, you want to know a really funny story about So. Uh, the name of so we when I was at my hospital, they were, they were doing a media shoot for some of the scholarship people that were in our program. And one of the girls came up and the photographer introduced herself and she goes, she, the, the, my friend's name was Michelle. And she goes up to her and goes, oh, Michelle. And she was a young little, you know, little Asian lady. And she goes, oh, Michelle, so young and starts shaking her hand. And Michelle's like, oh, my God, thank you. You think I look young? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I swear to God, her name was, she goes, no, 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 so young. And like points to her name tag and literally said, so young was her name. <laughs> wow, what a name. So, so right the first time when she said her name was so, I was like, oh, my God, if her name is so young, I'm going to have um, well, she's a retail buyer. Buyer, um, Max is a media consultant. Caroline, is a corporate executive. It's so like nondescript. Uh, Sharon is a Yahoo executive. Tyler is an ex-talent agent assistant, and Joaquin is marketing director. And that is the white collar tribe. So let's let's review. First of all, Max. When we saw him, we quickly discovered he is the college professor of Survivor. And he made it known the entire first episode. I always think that's a bad thing to tell your other tribe mates. I don't. I don't think I'd yeah. show. I would be like, I've I've seen a couple episodes. I don't really watch. Is what I would say because you don't want them to think you've like studied the show and you should be feared and voted out. Y yes, but they also know that he is the college professor of Survivor now who doesn't know how to build a fire. Well, so I mean, how to build a fire actually. I'd right? like to it mention that Max also came into Survivor with the beard already there. <laughs> That's a bold it. move. Bold Watch move. it. He's actually going to get shaved during the uh, course <laughs> of Survivor. Um, so then for blue collar, we have Mike, the oil driller, Lindsay, the hairdresser, Dan, the postal worker, Rodney, the general contractor, Kelly, the state trooper, and Sierra, the barrel racer. The what? Barrel racer. What's yes. that? The barrel racer. That's when you get on a horse and you race barrels. Barrels are really fast. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've never heard of this profession before. It's... I didn't catch that. No, oh, yeah, it's uh, no, not you. Don't really race the barrels. You just like go. It's like uh, you go in between them on a horse. It, it's a profession. Oh, racing yeah, of barrels. Uh, uh, uh. It's like um. You know, it's a thing we do here in the <laughs> South. That sounds that sounds pretty free spirited to me, but okay. Right. So does a uh, hairdresser, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, you're pretty yeah. much self employed with as a hairdresser. Well, as, I a guess hair, as a hairdresser, I can see that as a something where you work with your hands, and I guess theoretically in riding horses. But <laughs> as a, a barrel racer, I'm a horse racer essentially. That definitely seems more free spirit than blue collar to me. Yeah. But yeah. I think they took like. Like, if, any other, way of if like, someone played rugby, they would have just threw them on blue collar. Even though it doesn't have anything to do with anything, they just seem like they're hardened, I think is what they went with for blue. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you ride horses. Yeah, you're blue collar. That's that's what yeah, I think. I, I, can, I can see that. Um, so then uh, no collar, we have Haley, the law student, Vince, the coconut vendor. 
I, what, I wasn't writing down professions until we got to coconut vendor, and I had to write down all their professions. I was like, hey, hold on, going back, going back. What's what's all their jobs? Um, <laughs> Did he ever explain what that means to be a coconut vendor? He sells he coconuts. coconuts. I mean, he picks them up and he sells them. Like, it's like does, the does, he, does he sell them like on the street corners of Hawaii, like by himself, or does he have like this multi-million-dollar coconut distribution center? I want to like, know what the implications on the game are going to be. Like, is he going to like going to be picking up coconuts? And he's like, no, 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 no. We can't have this <laughs> right. coconut. We will right. sell he's these to the other not. tribes. It's gonna he's going like, to save the, the tribe. He's giving them the best coconuts. They're going to be winning every challenge because of the coconuts, man. Maybe he'll like hoard coconuts and start a whole business on the island. He'll start selling <laughs> coconuts on the start island. Start selling them to Jeff and be like, hey yeah. Jeff, Survivor Auction's coming up, right? How about another $100 for this coconut? <laughs> <laughs> Um, the next is Will, the YouTube sensation that has one viral video. Uh, that's okay. That's what I was going to ask if that was, because that's what I got out of what he said is he has one viral video. I was making sure I was right on that. Do you, have you seen it? No. Neither have I. Had you heard of him before? No. No one had except whoever watched that one viral. He's not a YouTube sensation. It's silly. <clears throat> then we have Nina, <laughs> the, the hearing advocate. She wants you to hear. She's, she advocates that we all hear. I think I we're all like here. Her. Advocates, to be I honest, I think she's. I think she's excellent. The, like she, she was the first person. Like when they were doing like the intros on the ride there, she was the first person to make me go, "Yeah, you're, you're cool enough to win." I think you're, you're fine. <laughs> you're not the one that. You're not crazy. I mean, you you didn't study Survivor in college or, or do a course. <laughs> you're, you're fine. Go ahead, win the game. Off you go. Uh, Jen, the sailing instructor, and Joe, the jewelry designer. So I've got a bone to pick about Jen, the sailing instructor. Right away, she's doing her intros. And what does she say? Is something along the lines of, well, yes, I want to win a million dollars too. Who doesn't smile on a jet ski? Oh, yeah, that that's line. A, it's a joke that's stolen straight from Daniel Tosh. Daniel Tosh's stand-up talks about him and people. You ever seen somebody frown on a wave runner? Uh-uh. Like, you haven't seen anybody frown on a wave runner before? It was like a stolen joke directly from Daniel <laughs> Tosh. And I was like... <laughs> What? Like this is why oh. did you put that in? Okay, let's be honest. We're we're we're, we're gaming YouTubers where we <laughs> exist purely in reference to other things. <laughs> I'm sure if we went on that show, the first thing that we'd go is something stupid and related to a video game. <laughs> At least I would, but I'm I'm me. So <laughs> after Will has set the precedent for what a YouTube sensation is, I would ask not to be declared as a YouTube sensation. <laughs> Possibly yeah. true. But who knows? Maybe his video has more views than all of your videos combined. It probably does. I've never, I've never looked at it, so I don't know what the video is. I don't know how is. to find him. I tried to figure that out, and like I couldn't figure out what his YouTube video I'm, was. I'm sure on the Survivor Reddit by now, somebody's found it. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. That would have been the place to go. I didn't think about that. I just went to CBS and like could not find. Yeah, because they because I, I was trying to research it to see how many videos he had after they said he has one viral video. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. None of us have ever heard of him, so. Nope. There's the tribe, and we're, we're heading on jeeps to the, the location. What happened to the helicopters? You know what? I didn't even think about that. Maybe they, maybe <laughs> they were smart, and they decided to cut the money, the budget for the intro, so they could actually spend the budget on better things for this well, season. Well, I mean, they have the helicopter all the time like they use those helicopters for all the aerial shots and stuff it's not like they had a deficiency of helicopters That's they just true. were like let's let's just go trucks this time i don't know <laughs> well they switch it up sometimes you like remember the boats they used to do yeah, boats do sometimes boats. I, I love to... the boats remember when you I... had to get all the things off the boat yeah. that good stuff when survivor was about surviving yeah i guess great. They, they've done the trucks a few times as well where they actually had to scavenge everything that they could take off the truck oh off the truck yeah and i guess that's completely gone by the wayside because they were pretty much given everything they needed to start this one and we, we, we discuss, uh, everybody intro themselves, and one thing I, I got out of that, the one line that I, I, I really heard and hated, was, and it was like a sign to me that he's going to be voted off quick, Dan wants to be remembered. And I'm like, mm. you're not going to be remembered, you're going to be voted <laughs> out quick, yeah, be, man. Yeah, well, he'll be remembered now by MC as the guy who's saying he wants to be remembered <laughs> exactly. and voted out in one of the early episodes. And I also noticed they made, the, the, the production team made sure to know that everybody was wearing something so they looked like their profession. It's like, who goes Survivor in a suit? I don't care if you are white collar. The full suit was too much for me. Can we talk about the colors of their buffs? Why the fuck are the buffs not white, blue, and black, or something like that? Why, 
White, yeah, yeah, yeah something. White, really why does the white collar tribe have a yellow buff? That's a good point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, know, they I, couldn't I, do I white buffs because the logo that, would look too good. Oh, right, the buff <laughs> thing. Where they like fill it in with yellow in the B, I guess. And then that's just money down. The Wait, street. no, even better. <laughs> Those buffs are are actually white. But they accidentally made them yellow. <laughs> That's all where the all yellow, the yellow went. All the yellow that was supposed to be in those bees fell into this <laughs> spot. Like, and all these buffs are yellow. Oh, God. Dang. Whoops. Does yeah. blue collar at least have blue? Um, yes. They, they got the second one, right? But I just was shocked. They were like, and the white collar tribe, here's your yellow buffs. I was like, wait, why are they not white? What is going on? <sighs> oh, so. wow. So yeah, they they met on the uh, on the beach there. They introduced themselves, like you said, and then Jeff asked them to pick a person to represent their tribe. And the white collars and the blue collars were pretty quick at that. No collar was all like, I don't know, we're all free spirits, man. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Yes. Yeah, it was <laughs> YouTube personality. See, that, whenever that was happening, I was like, this guy's funny. I like this guy. He yeah, he's definitely a YouTube personality or whatever. I can't wait to see the sandwiches. <laughs> I just. I mean, they had to be playing that up, right? Like, granted, he could have jumped in the, the huddle with people and just to be stupid and funny, be like, don't make make it me, guys. I'll make you sandwiches. But then the chick was like, well, he promised us sandwiches, so we had to go for him. And it's like, wait, are, are you serious right now? Or are you still just playing the game? Well, there was a behind-the-scenes <laughs> note. Apparently, he talked about those sandwiches for a lot longer than they <laughs> even showed it. On oh, camera, there was a behind-the-scenes note by somebody who was, like, attending the recording. Apparently, the sandwich joke went on way too long, so they cut it down, even. It reminds me in high school when you ran for, like, a uh, student council or a uh, school president or whatever, and you would, like, promise, like, we're going to have new Fridays and, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, pizza every every period and all this shit, like... Friday for lunch will be ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> It's like stuff that you know is not actually going to happen, but you're just throwing up these posters in the hallway like, Sandwiches! <laughs> sandwiches. Oh, oh that's got to be his catchphrase. Like, he's going to win like a challenge and just be like, Sandwiches! <laughs> <laughs> I hope that happens. Uh, so then the person that was selected, so we had for um, the white collar, we have Joaquin. For blue collar, we have Dan. And for no collar, we have Will. Um, and then he, they each got to pick a person. So Joaquin picks Michelle, Dan picks Mike, and Will picks Jen to be their second in command. Which I don't know where – I don't know if this has a thing beyond – so they sent them back to camp then, and then those people were going to send off on a choice or whatever. But I don't know if they have – did it say if they have a role beyond that? I would assume not because even your leader, the person you, you determine is your leader, they like overthrow their leader all the time. Like – Somebody else steps I, I think up. It was that, I more for the point of drama. They're trying to like say, "Hey, what?" Like, because we know what's about to happen. So let's see if we can add another person to the mix. So it's not just one person who's in on whatever the secret is. So it's it's another point that a crack can form later in the game. Yeah, yeah. So what they were supposed to do is choose between a big bag of beans or a small bag of beans that came with an individual. I mean, an individual immunity clue. Both those bags of beans look pretty damn small to no, me. No, that, that's yeah, the thing. I, I, I initially was like, man, the people who are going to even be honest and take back that big bag, people aren't going to believe them that, that was being honest because it and looks I, that like was it's all, a full bag. That was all the producers, and they knew that too. They're like, this bag isn't that bag. We could give them a huge sack, but no, no, no. That's too that, easy. That made me wonder too again about the merge because they normally give them enough food to last until a merge. And mm, neither of those bags have enough for that. Well, that's what I think, too. So either there's going to be a merge pretty quick, I think, or like I think it'll either go to two traps really quickly or they're going to have to do something to give them food or it's going to be one of those seasons where it's like everyone's starving. Or there's additional food already given. Like, this is bonus. bonus. Yeah. No, the no-collar people, did they actually – they showed their decision. Did they show, like, the tribe's response to it? I'm trying to remember what it was because the other two were pretty entertaining on what they did. But I don't remember – what the tribe's response to the no collar's choice was. Um, I remember in the white collar, um, when they were making the decision, all we heard was the line, "Villains win this game," and I wanted to know what villain won this one. I was wondering that too. Like, does he? Well, that wasn't the professor, was it? No, that that was that was. <laughs> it was Joaquin and Joaquin and, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, so. I was shocked by that too. 
Yeah. The guy who uh, wore the, the full suit to Survivor. I guess they just they were all just being hippies and they were like, yeah, man, rice. Because yeah, I don't I don't have any notes about that either. Yeah, I was just because because they chose the they went the honest route. They chose the big bag, quote unquote, big bag of rice, and it was whatever. Like you didn't really see anything after that. It was they chose the big bag, done one and done. What do you want to start with next? The blue collar or the white collar? I think they both had very interesting things that happened related. Right. To well, the I guess the the inter- to me the inter- the more interesting was that. Well, I can't. Well, I was I was shocked that they that anyone would choose the small bag personally, even if after I, seeing them, I was not. I was shocked that they didn't look at them both and kind of go, "Well, th- people aren't going to believe us that this is the honest well, one." What anyway. you need to do is you need to formulate a good lie, a good lie. Like, what were the two options? Like, do I get the small bag of beans? And the other option was. The hidden immunity idol, like straight up. See, like, I, idol versus a little bit of beans. I think you know? the white collar did a pretty awesome job at that. I, th- I thought they did horrible. Oh, I thought their story was perfect because, like, we'll get into that now. They went back and told their tribe they deceived, so they took the small bag of rice. They decided to tell their tribe there was three boxes: one that said honest, one that said deceive, and one that said neutral. And there was a caveat that came with honest and deceive. That something else was going to happen. They didn't tell us what it was, so we just went with a simple plan and said neutral. Let's not let anything else happen to, to mix things up this early in the game. I thought it was a pretty good story given what they had to go on. Their tribe didn't believe them for a second. No. But I thought it was a best possible story. They I can't say the best, but I thought it was a really good deceptive technique. The one MC just came up with was pretty good. The like, I, I, there I was only a that. small bag of beans and the immunity idol, and you just tell them this was all we had. It was either we get this small bag of beans or we get an immunity idol. So we chose to get. I didn't. I didn't think of that because I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how you make a lie out of this because to me, like you said, the the big bag of beans was already unbelievably small. Right. So it's like there was no good way. Like either way, you're gonna feel like you're lying, even when you do the, the right thing. You're you feel like you have to come up with something to tell them, even though you did. The, you're you're telling the truth. See, I guess the only better thing you could have done is come back with. The small bag of beans. Just not tell anybody. Just come back and be like, oh, yeah, it was something about where we set up our shelter. And then kind of just throw the small bag of beans, like, by the well and be like, oh, look, they gave us some beans, like, to start with. <laughs> well, yeah, like, like it, they said it was a decision for later in the game. Right, yeah. Who that, knows that, what that means? Yeah. Oh, you know. That could have been something cool. Because... You know the the white collar did their lie, but nobody believed. I that hated they did their the lie, lie. and because you know, the, the survivor professor he he said it best. He's like, "There's no third choice. This is Survivor. There's two options: this or this. Why would like I I but, can't even imagine this deceive honest. Like, what's the caveat of being honest? But like, I the, just don't I don't even understand how they the lie was too complex for it to work. It's like so you're, I you're don't to remember it's a TV show. I don't know if that's true because you know we'll get into it in a little bit. But coming up later, the challenges are different. So the survivor has or the survivor professor he's already thrown off. When have they ever had a challenge done the way that was done? Where you have choices on how to proceed through the challenge. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, that already is going to throw a wrench in that game of, oh, wow, they're doing things differently. Maybe there is a third option that was going on out there. Mm-hmm. I don't believe there's still, he's still thinking. I don't think anyone's still thinking about it, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, Sierra, she didn't buy it for a second. Or What's her name? Yeah. Is there Sierra? Or... Yeah, she, yeah, she, she wasn't either. buying it. But either way, white collar, they deceive. They, they were the only ones. Yeah, they're did. the only ones. So, <laughs> yeah. but the blue collar. What would you think about what the blue collar did? Well, what, what do you they mean? Do? They went honest. For mm-hmm. one, the tribe doesn't believe them that they went honest because, as we said, the bag is pretty damn small. But the second they get back to camp, and they were talking about themselves, and they said the same thing. And they, he was like, "Man, it's too early. We can't deceive them yet. We gotta like build trust." And I'm like, "That's probably a smart idea this early in the game." So he goes back to camp, and they explain to them, "This is the choice that we had. This is what we chose." And then Dan straight up goes, "Got yeah, guys. It was just too early in the game to make a different choice than that." He tells this to the rest of the tribe. What kind of idiot are you? Don't go the honest route and then tell them, well, I was going to deceive you guys, but it's too early. Like, we'll sh- we should do that later. Like, what is yeah. wrong Dan is with being you? remembered so far. He's being remembered as dumb. So good for him. Yeah, he's very dumb. I, I had much higher hopes for him at the very beginning of the episode and much lower hopes near the end of the episode. Just oh, We'll talk about that. Yeah. Oh. So. Um, 
Yeah, they all take the, or they, they take the honest route, though nobody believes that they actually took the honest route, and... No caller goes better. They're the, everybody's believing it's like, hey, we chose the honest route. Yeah, like, nice yeah, job! Yeah, well, well done! Uh, then they start doing introductions between their different tribes, and the, I had to say, the introductions on White Collar were by far the most hilarious thing I saw this episode. <laughs> like, it was so perfect. They were like, hello? I'm I I am I am Sierra and I am I don't even remember what she did but I I'm a corporate executive I think you know it's like I I run a large IT firm it's like what what is this survivor introduction like they're standing in a circle they're not you know going to get firewood or anything it's just so strange. it reminds me of like conferences when people like business I don't know business conferences like that that that's probably why I went like that because they're used to doing that type of thing where they're meeting people they don't really know and they stand around and. Say basically it's like an AA meeting, you know what I mean? Because that kind of they each knew what to do. That's what yeah. they said. Is they they each knew what yeah. to do when it came to their turn. They it was like this is this it's what we do every day. Having been in many corporate jobs, that is how they start, and that is exactly what they were doing. Just straight up like down the row, down the row, do what they do. <laughs> uh, so there was no more really introductions. Then they just started getting into general people like like those initial alliances. I think. Um, and there was the the one guy. Was he on blue collar who had the tattoo with with the like 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 remembering his sister or something that died on his arm? Talking about Rod, Rodney? Is that yeah? Him? I I think so. He had like what? he had like he started to deceive with a tattoo on his arm, like while being honest at the same time. It was really well. What weird. was he just? I was very confused at his whole story. It was like a poem about his sister who he then just was like, oh yeah, well I walked into a, my house and the door was locked so I busted it open and my sister was dead on the ground and I was like, where did this just come from? Like what? <laughs> I'm so lost at what just happened to lead up to this moment that I'm not sure if he was actually telling a heartfelt story or if he was just completely making up crap off the top of his head. I didn't understand. Yeah, it was really unclear because he he, he said then like like yeah, I, I had this plan coming in to get all the girls to follow me because I need a man to lead them. Yeah, and... He did say that. <laughs> oh, I like how your, your note, sexism alerts. <laughs> like, that's what you have, like, written right there. <laughs> um, and then he shows the tattoo about his sister, supposedly. He tells the story, but he doesn't say, like, MC took it as a as he was lying. But was he? I don't even know. I don't no, know no, no, no. I, I took story. him as being honest. But he's deceiving with his honesty. Like he's uh, he's like he start he's starting to sway people already by telling like life stories and all this. It's like you, you're already starting to get in people's head, and I'm I don't know if I like it. You're you're, I mean, it's good. It's good for your like <laughs> up to getting into the jury. But I don't think you're gonna I, I get think, to the end with that type. I don't of think talk he's gonna something. last that long. I mean, he yeah. just came across. It's so obvious that he's gonna do something in the next episode or two. That's just like you know, he's gonna start yelling at the women at camp about why they're not cooking meals because that's their oh, job. That, yeah. I can almost guarantee that he's gonna go off and do something like that because that's the way he comes across. He's that yeah. type of person. Mm -hmm. He's not very smart, man. No. Well, speaking of unsmart people at Blue Collar, <laughs> we have a scorpion inside the area, everybody. So what do we do? Eat it. Eat it. Sounds it's, brilliant. Day one. I've never seen some... anyone eat a raw scorpion. Like, there's got to be poisons and stuff inside of it. you got to cook exactly. the thing, right? Well, That's I think, why his body was like poison... initially like, get rid of it. I think the poison's all in the tail. If I've watched my... He ate the tail. He just took the stinger off and ate the tail. Like, oh, the whole I tail. He cut, I thought he cut the tail off with the axe. See, I think I he just cut the stinger off. Because we Who were talking cares? about it. Well, right. I mean, he, it's he the first day. Down. You don't yes. just go eating shit off the yeah, ground. Calm, it's, it's like, like calm look, down. It's Survivor. You're on a reality television show. Calm a, down, a man. A dead fish on the beach. Just calm. You're, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not going to die on day one because you didn't eat a scorpion you found in a log. It's, it's, it's Survivor. He calm might down. die because he did eat a scorpion he oh, yeah. found in a log. <laughs> like... The production crew's yelling at him from behind the camera, and he's just doing it anyway. Can you imagine Survivor? Like, don't do that. Survivor don't America do that. has its first death. Somebody ate a poisonous scorpion on day one for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, protein! Protein. Mm. So, yeah, he was not that smart. smart. But then you go to... mentioned that he puked? Oh yeah, he oh, yeah. He puked it up. Or you know, puking on day one of Survivor—that's not a good sign. And 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 who knows how long it was after that he puked? I mean, it didn't look like it was. Oh, the taste was so bad he puked. It looks like it let it sit in for a while, and 
It did not agree with him. <laughs> and now I call the blue collar. like, is he puking? Yeah, he's puking. Okay. <laughs> so they didn't even care. There's like, to be expected. We we understand this now. So did the blue collar? Well, I guess there's the two guys um, that initially decided not to, you know, deceive. Are they the only ones that really talked about an alliance on the blue collar side? Well, no, there was definitely an alliance between the feather-haired guy and he's, oh, not, he's no, no, no Oh, well, I thought you. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said were well, there an alliance on other tribes? No, on uh, the, on oh, the no, blue no. collar. Oh, side. oh, just on the blue tribe. I think right. they were the only ones that were really talking about like kind of yeah doing things together. But yeah, go go ahead about feather-haired dude. <laughs> I forgot he was feather-haired until we got down here. Feather-haired coconut vendor. Oh, dude, um, he, he's so off the wall. Why does he have feathers in his hair? Because Were they always there? I didn't notice them until halfway through the it, episode. If you did your research, Goode, you would understand that to get into the coconut vendor trade, <laughs> you, you yeah. must put a feather in your hair for every coconut that you have sold to royalty. So I guess uh, him and Hallie talk about getting an alliance. That's on the No Collar tribe. And he, and he starts talking about spirit and love, and I'm like, oh boy. That dude's, oh, yeah. this, 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 this isn't going to go good if he, he started, started talking about spirit and then he brings, like, I'm like, spirit, okay, fine. You're, you're, you're crazy coconut, man. Yeah, and he's, he's like, and love. And it's like, no, no, stop. Stage I know where this is going. Stage like, from day one. And I mean, he's even like, one of the things when he was just talking to the camera, he's like, oh, my very strong attraction toward women. And it's like, okay. We're spontaneous, remember? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that was a line they said on the No Collar Tribe. We're spontaneous, yeah, remember? Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, he did say like, that, didn't he? That's not really spontaneous if you're saying to telling yourself to remind yourself of it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. This No Collar Tribe. Like at first, I was like, all right, it's gonna be good, but then they just all started to creep me out. And I kind of don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a little weird. Uh, then on the uh, Blue Collar Tribe, they're making their their shelter. Dan's really mad about bamboo. He gets so mad that he goes down to the beach and gets naked. <laughs> yes, I don't know what he was doing. Like he like he's like arguing with them about how you cannot make a house, you cannot make the floor out of bamboo, which is how it's been done in every freaking season of Survivor ever. And then he just leaves angrily and goes down to a log and gets he strips all his clothes off and he's just like talking to this other guy. Why? And then he puts his clothes back on eventually, but he doesn't do anything. I don't know why he. Why did he get naked? I've, why did he get mad? Like the whole thing made no well, sense. Yes. It was. <laughs> He was like, I'm angry. I get naked when I'm angry. <laughs> man, Dan, don't you guys remember him? The angry naked man from angry Survivor? Man. <laughs> right, right. Oh. He's a, he was a uh, jerk, and, and he, he wore very little clothes. Maybe he's Did trying that... to be the next Richard Hatch. I, I don't know. No, <laughs> right? no, no. Let's not even go. That. No, thank you. Uh, I'll take a pass on that one. <laughs> it's funny on the No Collar Tribe that... Um, Featherhaired thinks that he's got Jen in his pocket because he's a beautiful man. But meanwhile, it's... Jen thinks that Joe looks like a model from romance novels. But really, honestly, Featherhaired guy, he's standing there talking to Jen in the woods, and it's like the perfect angle. That his hair is blowing in a way. Like, he does look like straight like Fabio or something with feather hair. But. <laughs> Anyways, Jen doesn't think so, and I think that was uh, that, his, Goode, his whole goal. Goode's got a little man crush on feather-haired guy. <laughs> He's like, oh, feather-haired guy. <laughs> feather-haired. Yeah, uh, when I was a kid, Big Bird was my favorite. <laughs> so, so the spirit is flowing, and there's a girl in the middle of these two guys, and it's... Yep. It's all really weird. It's, it's, it's really only weird. weird because feather-haired guy starts going off about, "Do you like Joe?" Well, it's, I don't think you're being honest with me. Do, now. do you like, like him? It was no. I'm yeah, I like him. Do you like like him? Yeah, there's, it's, <laughs> no, no, no. You sure? Okay, let's hug it out. Spirit in love. Yeah, Spirit and, in and love. He's like, and I don't believe a word that Jen says. And it's like, dude, you're crazy. It's you're day crazy. one. Calm down. <laughs> yep. yep. He's the equivalent of. Vince Vaughn's girl in Wedding Crashers, like <laughs> that's, that's just, just nuts. Uh, the um, white collar tribe is hilarious, though. Like everything that they do is hilarious to me, because like like they 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 say the words. So we need to make an agenda of 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 what we need to do. All right, you're assigned to wood duty. You're assigned to getting the water. You're on fire, dude. It's so white collar, it hurts. And I love it. They're the ones like embracing who they are the most. I to could be have honest. played corporate bingo 
with what they were saying. Like, I don't I know, know if you guys right? have ever seen the corporate bingo like thing out there. I could have played it based on just watching them because they were yeah. just straight up out of the corporation. <laughs> and they, they used the word agenda on Survivor. They I accomplished mean... nothing. Nothing. Did they even get a fire built? No, no, not a single one of them knows how to make fire. Every other tribe had no problem making fire. They're all using the whole bamboo method. Um, but yeah, white collar video. Yeah, basically. basically. I did. I did see um, uh, some comments that people think that the survivor professor purposely didn't let people know that he knew how to make fire. Because like, how do you not do that as a survivor professor? Right. Learn how to make fire. That's the thing that made no sense to me. It's like you teach this class, a class on Survivor, and you don't even know how to make fire. Like, I, I don't, maybe the class is just on the social interactions. Like, I don't know exactly what his class is, but you would just think, like, you're the Survivor teacher. I right. think if, 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 he, if he knew how to do it, uh, if, well, if he, if he was doing it intentionally, like, not, if he was intentionally not doing the fire, the, the, the producers, editors, they would have told that in the story already. I don't think they'll save that for later. That's not, like, a save for later type of thing, you know, like. That's oh, true. He would have been up at the confessional thing and been like, I know how to make a fire. I just don't want to, you know, show them that I know how. Yeah, yeah, he would have had to say something like that. You're right. But I, I, at this point, I, I, that's not, like, a, you know, surprise thing for, for at the merge. And by the way. I knew how to make fire, but I didn't give it to you. You know, they're not going to bring that up. <laughs> it's in his if final did, though, be, his speech crazy. at the final three. You guys don't think I deceived? <laughs> I knew how to make fire the whole time. No, no, it'll be at the final two because he would have predicted that by not lighting the fire it was a final two situation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He probably does have that thought process. He, he game say. Jeff the entire time. <laughs> um. So then, back on the on the uh, white collar, well, we're still in the white collar tribe. They 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 had had that immunity idol uh, clue, and <laughs> they go looking for it, and they Very get followed. Sneakily. Yeah, they get followed by Caroline, um, and the Caroline finds it, and she didn't even have a damn clue. Like the the other people that, that that were supposed to find it couldn't find it. The people with the clue couldn't find it, and the person that didn't have a clue that thought those people had a clue found it. Yeah, she she's actually smart. And she was and like, she, yeah. they're doing stuff. They're probably looking for a clue. If they're looking in, like, hollows, there's probably a hollow I should go look in. <laughs> right. Around, around, around the yeah. well. I mean, like, who no, doesn't? Why, why don't you do that first day? Like, yeah, you like know, I mean, you got nothing better to do. I mean, what, you, have, you have shelter to build and not play the fire. Thing, that's another thing that I was thinking is once they had, uh, when I was watching the show, I'm like, they had the deceit or honesty thing. And I was like, you could choose honesty now, almost knowing that there is a idol at your camp and it's most likely going to be somewhere obvious like around the well is exactly what i said to myself before they read that you know clue and then i was like man you should have just taken honesty and then got to look for the clue anyway yeah you i don't know why look for the well, idol anyway like why aren't people always do like there's only been one contestant that's ever come on the show and done that and he found like five idols mm -hmm. I can't, his name what's his name the, the asshole the russell heads yeah russell like why why and, and people have seen that it's documented well, it's all Television. I, I think it's because since then the idols aren't usually necessarily at camp or there's like the alone island or whatever that right. the, it's hidden at. But or... then like last season there was at least one at camp. That's true. But was there it was one the buried beginning? underneath the underneath the flag? That was a cool season when they had that. They should do yeah. that. Or the ones that are in plain sight, like when it's a part of the flag yeah. or whatever. Yeah, those yeah. Ones I really. It's like on top cause... of the flagpole. Nobody would look on top of the flagpole. That would be awesome if they did that. Something they're staring at all the time, and it's just. Yeah, Not there. But yeah, to Caroline or whatever her name is, she she Caroline. has an idol without a clue, like doing nothing wrong. She's just like boop idol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and then they go. The challenge. Yep, first challenge. You want me to read exactly how it went? Yes. Uh, so they race down a ramp. They go through an obstacle to a large wooden crate containing a ladder. Uh, they have to untie the knots or use keys to unlock the thing containing the ladder. Then they use the ladder to help them go up, over, and down a platform. Then they ladder through another series of obstacles. Uh, <laughs> You guys, <laughs> they, and now then they must choose up to three puzzles to complete. There's one with five pieces that requires you to see the big picture, one with ten pieces that's visual. It's that tree we've seen so many times, and fifty pieces is straightforward, but lots of pieces. Two teams will win immunity. First place gets a fire making kit. Second gets just flint. What do you like about choices? Well, it's like choose your own adventure, right? I, I think it's great. <laughs> I think I was very impressed. I was very happy that it right, was something know? to mix up the challenges. Yeah. I was really shocked, though, that everybody started with keys and everybody dropped back to knots. In my opinion, 
You only have so many keys you go through, and he even right. said what each of the keys, it was three keys unlock three locks apiece. I think that's what he said. So there was nine total locks and three keys were gonna unlock them. Eventually you're gonna find one. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I was kinda I was I thought that they should have gone with the five piece puzzle too. I like five pieces. I I think the team who was last getting there should have gotten the five piece puzzle He's as like, for it. as a Hail Mary pass to try to yeah. get there. No, the only problem with that is the five piece puzzle was a square. Did you know that the answer was a square? Like no, that's the thing. I don't is, think you knew what the answer was. So yeah, I mean, you just had to do something and put it together. Right. Well, right. Uh, something interesting about the keys you were just mentioning uh, from that same behind the scenes blog that that person did, who talked about the, the the sandwich story going on forever. They also mention that the, there? that all the testing that they did, the the, the, the ocean sandwiches story. Anyway, uh, sorry. So the keys, uh, the keys are faster. Um, that, that's what they said, that the production team found that the keys were faster, but everybody was too quick to give up on them. So everybody moved on to the knots. But if they kept with the keys, it would have been faster in the long run. And did you have to... I did, so somebody jumped in and started on keys, and then they passed it off to somebody else on their team who jumped into knots. Did I think they, if you were going to change, you had to switch persons, is what I gathered. Okay, that, I didn't quite understand if that was the case, why that person didn't just jump to knots, or why the person doing knots, if they start getting tired near the end, they didn't just switch yeah. out with somebody else to finish the knots off, or if by then they have rote memory of how the knots are. But I think you could switch and stay with knots. Because like, like, they switched on the, on the puzzle, right? They didn't switch puzzles. True, like, they, you're right, they so, did. Yeah, I don't know, jo Joe is amazing at visual puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sees the tree. He sees the tree within, and mm -hmm. uh, and, and and our good old friend, what was her name? Sharon, Sharon, someone like that. Sure. Sh Shireen, Shireen. Sure. Sure. Yeah, she, she she goofs, she goofs, she goofs up the lead that they have. What was that white collar? Oh yeah, that's right. And and and, and then and then blue collar wins first. And they, they had a... Uh, and uh, who was it that said, holy comeback, Batman, during the challenge? I was very upset. Oh, I don't even know who said that. I was very upset when I heard that. I was like, oh, really? Are we saying that now? So, it's yeah, day one. So, <laughs> no collar gets there. Wait, who got there very first? I believe um, white collar got there first. So, white collar was first on the puzzle. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, all teams decide to use keys. Yellow switch to players untie. Uh, red through the sep red was through the second obstacles first, then white collar. Red picks ten. No, red got there first. Okay. Red picks ten piece visual. Yellow, uh, white collar picks fifty piece visual. Jen doesn't get anything. Switches out with Joe. He gets the pieces quickly. He's amazing at visual puzzles. Uh huh. So Sharon, that, I have any luck? I Sorry. completely saw them going for the visual puzzle. No collar going for visual puzzle. That just seems like up their alley for what they are. Right. Um. I guess white collar going for fifty piece puzzle doesn't shock me. It was blue collar getting there last, picking the visual puzzle. That really threw me off. But man, that second I, dude that they had in there was like, I think they picked the it work. for the number of pieces, not for the description. I think that they thought five is probably too hard, fifty's too many. We might can pull it off with fifteen. Is that 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 was my thought process? I mean. Yeah. And, and, and they did. They did. Yeah. They they amazingly did it. But I was with you, Good. I would at that point. I was hail mary passing, just like five piece puzzle, and hoping I could figure right. this thing out. I would try it. I mean, I want to try it right now, but I don't have giant block pieces right here, but, and I don't want to do it on my computer. Except the knowing. <laughs> I, that's the thing is, if I know that it's a square, I think I can get it done. If yeah, I right. just go in and they're like here, and I'm like, I have to make something. Like I don't know what I'm making. It could be an arrow. It could be a triangle. Like I have no idea what this could possibly be. That's gonna be a lot harder. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You wouldn't know. And you would think it'd be something Survivor esque, too, right? So you'd be trying to make something. A buff that's not logo. Just a square. A buff logo. Looking <laughs> for those white pieces. <laughs> it reminds me of the series, uh, Dwarf, Dwarf uh, Planet now. Those two little white spots. Never mind. <laughs> you, do you guys know what I'm talking about? No, no idea. The, the Dwarf Planet, we've been taking pictures of. We're going to start orbiting it on March 6th. Series. Never mind. <laughs> There's these two giant white spots on it in every picture. They don't know what it is. I just watched Survivor, man. What do you want about it? <laughs> what are you? The bad thing is, when they, we don't know what it is. It's actually going to be a Survivor buff up there. It's the Survivor <laughs> yeah, yeah, logo. That, that's what I'm saying. They're going to get a series. Just buff. <laughs> it's actually a long advertisement for the next season of Survivor. 
<laughs> on the moon. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Imagine, once technology progresses, that could actually be a possibility one day in the future. Wouldn't that just be great? And then they have the Mars season. The Mars season. And then it's... The rover just comes crawling and up. And then Survivor... And, and they don't have tree mail. They have rover mail. The Survivor 380s. Survivor Moon versus Survivor Mars. <laughs> and they bring them together for a final <laughs> battle. Oh, God. So, so the end of it, it's no collar wins. Blue collar comes away with a sneaky second place win uh, so that they're safe and still get a flint. Yeah. Get a, right. And because uh, the first place was a uh, fishing gear, right? No, uh, fire starting gear. Fire starting kit. That's right. That's right. So the no collar got a whole fire after. starting kit. Though they had fire. The blue yeah. collar gets the flint. Though they had fire. Yeah. Nothing I don't matters know what's with the spider. Kit like isn't a flint isn't that basically isn't a flint fire starting kit like what else oh, is in the other kit so you know it's, I don't know just don't and this is something I was gonna bring up earlier and I completely forgot to is if this was on the same island as somewhere else because maybe it's cleaned out of a lot of the usable wood because did you notice the bamboo it was all marked and it was colored yellow they had yellow stripes on all the bamboo so it looks like they shipped them in with all the bamboo. They, they always ship in fire stuff and everything. Well, no, I don't know about ship in, but they always go in and seed the island with the stuff you're going to need that's already on the ground. I thought they used to, like, cut down trees and go Not cut for down firewood. bronze and stuff. They, they do that. And if you also notice, whenever they're in some of the scenes, when they're walking around, they're moving vines out of their head, out of their way. Yeah. Those vines were planted there for string. Like, they're not actual vines growing in those trees. They're just... They're just Materials. You're ruining my experience, yeah, dude. I, I'm but they've like, always they've been doing this for a long time now, where they plant the firewood. It's just on the ground and stuff, so they can usually go pick it up um, and stuff. Those bastards. Sorry. <laughs> but who cares? Because when you go to tribal council, you get a flint. Anyways. Yeah. Who what is the deal with that? Like, why did I was so mad at the end of the season or at the end of the episode when they were like, "No, I call it now that you've been here. Here's your flint." And I was like, "Why?" They always have done that. No, once you... that, I've, I've watched no, them. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. They always have. Once you go to tribal council, you get you your fire. fire. Untrue. And you have I'm going to go find the episode. Oh, there is one season where they he makes the he makes them put their torches out when they leave. Okay, the so there might have been one season where that was a twist. And but then, for the majority of the 30 seasons, once you get to tribal, you get flint. Because you now have fire. fire. Right, you now possess fire. Did they last season? Torches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just remember the whole flint they always being do. lost in flint. I, I always remember Jeff tossing that little flint and it's like, and because you've been to tribal council, here's flint in the form of fire or fire inside the form of flint. Uh, see, I've it's seen that them do that a, a handful of times, but I thought that there was a time when they didn't do that. I'm gonna see if there's more than one episode. The, the fans will tell us if there's. More there than might one. be. I mean, there was a time when they didn't plant things like chickens and stuff too. Mike killed a boar with his bare hands. That then is he true. His face off, but. <laughs> that was it was survivor karma Let's you kill a boar you go in the fire <laughs> we, we got strategy now though because we got we got a tribal council tonight and carolyn is on the chopping walk because she sucked at the challenge right <laughs> yeah no she it doesn't it wasn't really yeah. clear she just kept saying i think it's gonna be a female and then and she just i'm old was freaking out and i'm a female and i'm old yeah. right but then she noticed oh, right, right. so running around talking to everyone. Yeah, yeah, and so so and the other evil dude. <laughs> like like they're they're like they, like they're so like villainous and like hurts. It's like they're like they're just like scheming and walking around and like when they when they turn their head you see like a shadow come over their face. It's really it's really funny. And did they even ever say why they were gunning for Carolyn so bad? Cause she's old. I, I mean, is that what like so and Joaquin or whatever his name is said? Yeah, they're just trying to get her the weakest. Uh, is what they were. It was standard weakest. But, but Sta standard doesn't. Wouldn't play. Shireen have been the weakest at that point? Shireen. Shireen, whatever. Her I, don't name is. What, I don't she, know. Like, I don't she's know. the one who caused them the challenge. Well, yeah, but the they're yeah, just Shireen, Shireen is the one who. Oh, I guess Carolyn. I didn't realize Carolyn was actually fifty-two. I think so Carolyn may have goofed. In... Older than the rest of her tribe, huh? Didn't she goof? Was it who goofed the most? Was it Carolyn or Shireen? Did Carolyn she... didn't do anything, did she? Did oh yeah she didn't she didn't volunteer or something yeah or, that's yeah they made some comment and, and about her not yeah. stepping up and and Shireen was the one who screwed up on the knots or something or the the puzzle she screwed yeah. up the puzzle because they said so whipped through the knots and that was one of the oh yeah yeah so like, so was good on the knots I'm sorry, was like I, so I, what I, she untied a few knots how does that make her better than I am but but either way Carolyn's on the chopping block and who has an idol but yeah she has an idol and she goes and she 
she reveals that she has title two, what she refers to as the big man. <laughs> like, like this title of the big man. What is the guy's even name? I don't even know. All I know is he's Tyler. the big man. Tyler, okay, he's the big man for, for me for her now on. But. So he came over to her to basically say, hey, look, people are throwing your name around. I instantly thought that he was already on the camp of, I don't want you to go yet. I'm not sure why this is happening. Let's kind of do something else. Whereas I've heard other people be like, no, he wanted her to go, and the only reason he changed his mind was because she had the idol. And I was well, like... Yeah, because I, well, he... He t comes over to tell her that everyone's talking about voting you out, and then she says, I have an idol, and he says, oh, you don't need to play it. Yeah. So which is it? Right. Everyone's talking about voting you out, or they're not, because if they are, then she should play her idol. So to me, that sounds like he wants her to go. If he's telling her, no, don't play your idol, like one minute you're telling me everyone's talking about voting me out, next minute you're telling me not to play my idol, like which is it? Yeah, I was very confused in that whole conversation, but yeah. it, and then I was even more confused at the crap that was said during Tribal Council. The game is the game. Oh my god! <laughs> I started laughing so hard when he said that. What is the dude's name that said that constantly in the season? Was it, Philip? was it Philip? No, it wasn't Philip. It was some crazy old doctor. It was the only season of Survivor. It was the one with Colton. Um, it was the only season of Tarzan. Survivor. Tarzan. 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 Yes. Because yeah. it was the only one where they 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 that was said so many times because they won. The immunity challenge and then gave up immunity because there was like disruption in the ranks and he kept just going the game is afoot <laughs> like so, so 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 they referenced that the game is afoot and then then uh and then the free freaking what, what, max the the survivor professor he goes a wise man once said and i just lost I yeah, like, it was <laughs> oh my god it was, it was i, I thought it was funny. just a coincidence that she said the game is afoot but then he references it i'm like all right cool this is this is survivor's like fan season i like oh, it it's so good funny but then what the what what dude was so dumb was it max there's well there's a, there's a very Tyler? honest tribal council it's, it it plays out like a white collar business meeting at first before the gloves come off but like so even says the four of us are really strong yeah like, i know it's it's so like honest it's weird <laughs> But obviously it wasn't super honest because she didn't know she was going home. But no. why the hell would the one guy have said, yeah, I would have deceived too. I would have just lied about it better. Why would you say that to your tribe at tribal council? Yeah. yeah. So honest. It, I, I couldn't bear the honesty that happened in this tribal council. But the thing is, if you're truly white collar, you're never freaking honest. Like, there's always a hidden agenda with these people. Right. Trust me, I've been in plenty of corporate positions. <laughs> always a hidden agenda. Like, everyone was out and everyone, though, because, like, So was like, well, yeah, the four. Yeah, me, Max, Tyler, and Joaquin. And then Carolyn was like, wait, 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 Max and Sharon are with me. It's like, everyone needs to shut your mouth. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> Just let this thing play out like it was. I was I was shocked. I wish I could see that whole tribal council because I want to know what made Carolyn actually decide not to play her idol. Well, let's I think that was on the bad. You think, you, do you think she knew she wasn't going home, MC? Yeah, that's why she went on the attack. Like, like she trusted the big man so much, Tyler. Um, she trusted him so much that she was like, "All right, well, if 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 this lady's gonna keep giving me crap and she's going home, I'm gonna I'm gonna send her off." And then they they and then the fists the the, the fists come out and they 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 duel it out. And I, at that point, I actually thought that that um she 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 did that she was gonna go home, Carolyn. I was and I was screaming, "Play the idol!" But then when I saw her actually go home, I was like. Oh wait, Carolyn. That she had to know. No, at that point, if if she didn't play the idol and she went on the attack, she knew it was her. I'm just. I'm wondering what was missed because I mean, granted, it's it's editing, so it could be so much missed. But I was really on the fence going in, like, oh, what should she do? And then I saw nothing definitive, and I'm like, is she playing this idol or not? Is she playing this idol or not? Like, but now the problem is. She's the first one with an idol. How cool would it have been if an idol got played, um, like in the first tribal council? Right. Like that would have been pretty sweet, but. She's the first one. People know she has an idol already. What's that going to do? It didn't come out in the thing, did it? But it, I mean, uh, only you, only Max knows. Only the big man. Do or you not, think? No, only, no, only the big man knows. Do you think only the big man knows? <laughs> don't you think I'm he? So, don't I'm you sorry. think he went and told other people? Like, I think so too, because it was uh, Sharon, Max, and Tyler all voted with Carolyn to get rid of So. I bet right. you, Sharon and Tyler. I bet all of them know about the idol at this point. And see, and what would be your strategy at this point? You're in a tribe that now only has five people. Would you be like, look, 
We don't want to try to blindside and get the idol out of here because we need it when we merge and when we mix things up as like our group. Let's try to align with our group. And granted, some of us might go home because we might still lose challenges. But let's not try to blindside that idol out of here because it will get us farther in the game as a group. Do you? Yeah. Would you have that? I would have that mentality with this small of a group. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think. Well, nobody ever wants to. Like everybody always like, let's flush the idol, but nobody ever flushes the idol. It never works. It never ends up being that way. Um, I've seen it work that way a couple times. Well, I, I, a very, okay, a very small yeah. handful of times. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I it, it's, more, it's more sometimes. about knocking people out with the idol. Like that's when it's more entertaining. Is like if Carolyn had gone home with the idol. Like what? Oh yeah, that would be great. That would be hilarious. I was kind of hoping Carolyn would go home with the idol, so I That'd could be, the be like, guys, are they episode. gonna are they gonna replant the idol? They would have. <laughs> they, they would not would have. have. I'm telling you. I don't know. Episode one, maybe they would have, but normally they would not have. I think you and I disagree. I, I we definitely <laughs> you you think correctly, so we agree on the fact that we disagree. <laughs> yeah. So is there no special thing that we know of yet? Do you think there's one coming on a lone island or anything oh, of that, that, or, uh, um, anything of that type? I think they might be going straight. No, no exile. No, no redemption. Do which you, I'm you, I'm down. I'm, I'm down. I'd be down. I'm kind of thinking that there's something hidden. What if they're doing the whole third, the the whole tribe thing again, where people that are getting voted out are going somewhere else, and they're going to they come, back, come back in the game? Yeah, they might. As that, really I, I don't know. That'd be scary. It's that, getting like, really they, popular they had... with cooking shows, where the people get voted out and then come back in at the very end. They have to battle each other to get back. But people in. will be Plus so been... upset. That ruins so much strategy. The reason why cooking shows are doing that is to get a web presence for video and advertising online. True. And I don't think Survivor. So there's no. I don't think there's another reason to do that unless you're going to show webisodes. And I don't think they're going to do that with Survivor because I think they would have already told us. Okay. You know what I mean? I yeah. I can believe that. I can believe that. So I don't know. I'm just. I'm waiting to see if there's actually. We won't find out until like episode three or four that there's actually an Exile Island that we haven't been paying attention to, and it's going to be like the first battle. All of a sudden, both the tribes are going to get notes to come to like. You know, come to this place, and they're going to show up, and it's going to be like, or not Exile Island, or it's going to be Redemption Island, and also they're yeah. going to be like, oh crap, these people are still possibly in this game. I don't want these stupid islands. Just, just, just play the game. This was such a good first episode. Like it was, it was a really. Let's, good let's, first let's just go some straight, straight good old Survivor. You know. See, I like the islands. I just don't like when it takes away from the show too much. Whenever right. suddenly yeah. every episode you're losing like the uh, reward challenge because instead we're doing an Exile Island challenge. Yes. I do like reward challenges much better. Because I think of the it fact brings that, more drama and stuff, right, too. Right. So, did you guys see the scenes from the next? Next time, yeah. the white collar goes nude, and there's drama with no collar. And, see you then. And that, that was like, that was the, the, the next time commercial. That was literally what it was. There's nudity, yep. there's drama. Tune in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're selling the show. Oh, it's like, okay. So there's Survivor next week. Yep. <laughs> next time on Survivor, more Survivor. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> that's that's all I got. Usually, you, yeah, usually they're like somebody might break their foot. This time they're like everybody's naked. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We we don't know what else to say. For some reason, for the next three days, these stupid people we put on an island just start getting naked. Last time we'll <laughs> show you Missy smash her face on a pole, but really she breaks her ankle. <laughs> this time, so maybe they just everybody actually dresses in more clothes and they're just trick chipping. Us. Everybody's wearing sweaters. Yeah. Well, well, of course. Well, I mean, okay. Let, let's be fair. I mean, when you're going out to this island in a full suit, I'm, I'm sure they wanted to get naked eventually. They're like. Why are we wearing a full suit? Why did the producers make us do this? And then just... Uh. Uh. <laughs> so, all in all, so far, very happy with this season. I like mm -hmm. a lot of the drama that's already happened. I like the mix-up of the tribes and what they've already done. I like the fact that I'm looking forward to these challenges that have these options that you can run through now. So everybody's going to actually do them slightly differently. I like it. I don't they, think they, they won't the be doing options. it in the future, though. Yeah, I don't think the options will stick around point past the merge. I think they're doing that to highlight the blue collar, white collar, no collar stuff. I don't know. Maybe oh, it'll come back with this individual. True. I don't know. And I also think that um, it's still going to be a lot of recycled challenge stuff because you know the tree, the tree challenge. They that's like the fourth yeah. time we've seen the stupid tree. Like like they're like, and we have three options, and I'm like, oh, and they're like, we have this puzzle. I'm like, yeah, we have a and square. This <laughs> and I'm like, oh, the square is cool. This is cool. Hey, it's my good old friend the tree. The He's tree. back. Welcome back, I guess. Hey, sure. 
And then everybody did the stupid tree, except for Whitecall, who can't spell, apparently. <laughs> they did a block puzzle and failed miserably at blocks. Yeah, that was kind of sad. I imagine that the nerves would get to you to a point where it, the things that we see that look really simple would be well, way difficult. Oh, so, I can imagine. They, I think it was a dude who was doing it. He had them all stacked up or by, by like the different colors or something, and I was like, I was like, oh, I know why he's failing this because he's not putting any piece in place. He's just, like trying to pre prepare for something. <laughs> he's building a tower. He's <laughs> yeah. a puzzle, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing the challenge where you have to build the, the cars. <laughs> he's like, I got it, Jeff. It's as tall as I can make it. <laughs> it's tall as the pole. Wait, and Jeff's like, wrong challenge. Go back. <laughs> Blue collar wins. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I'm looking forward to more for sure. Yep, yeah, that's going to be a good season. Did you guys watch Amazing Race before I we did this not? One? I did not yet. That's taped. It's ready. God, I'm just gonna. Uh, they have. If you thought they could not make a show worse than it than it was already starting to go, they did. Well, so, so oh, so you're saying that they took the the notion from Redneck Island to make things shittier as the seasons yeah. go on? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, this oh. is the dumbest idea. Yet, and I hope they cancel the show. You can, you can tell me. I'd like to know what the idea is because I'll watch did, it anyway. Did you ever watch the show Blind Date? Yeah. With Would you like that show if they raced around the world? Because that's what Amazing Race is now. It's Blind Date on a race. So, hmm. Here, here's your selfie cam. Be sure to take selfies and miss the fucking train. Um, take some <laughs> photos, too. They did. Some people were taking selfies and they missed the train because they were busy taking selfie with their selfie cam. So, how do they hook up these people on the dates? Who knows? Suppose they meet a new date in every it's city. It's blind date. Like, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, they, they, Here's they... a blind date. Go race around the world with this person. Yes. And there, there's, there's six tribes, or six tribes, six, six couples of, like, or I think six, of actual people that have been dating, and then six blind dates. And then, and then now all the challenges, like, used to an Amazing Race, the challenge is like, scale this building and skydive. Now it's, go on a date together and feed each other noodles. What? That was the first challenge. Feed each other noodles. It's like, what's the challenge here? Can you use chopsticks? I don't watch that the show, challenge? but I hate it. It's, it. It reminds me of the, the last season of Redneck Island. Now I'm, I'm gonna like despise something that. Luckily, I've only gotten into one season of of yeah. Amazing Race, though, which we actually never talked about because I think it ended after Survivor. What did you think of the ending of Amazing Race? I don't even remember. The last season. I was so happy whenever those one people got really mad. That's all I remember is I was so <laughs> happy when those people got really mad, and like at the end when the. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. That's what it was. They like extended. They they instead of it being a final three that goes to America, it was a final four, and the people that didn't, the people that got to, that they like didn't get voted out or whatever. Uh, the person that came in third was super upset because they thought they were in the final three. Right. It was the final four, and then they came in fourth the next leg and got kicked out. Yep. So they were super salty at the end, like whenever they're going down everyone at the final, and like everyone's like, yeah, they're like. <laughs> I really, I wanted them to win. Actually, I thought they were hilarious. Just the the wrestlers, I thought they yeah. were so funny to like watch in such a random group of people. I really wanted them to win. The only team that was in the final four, I didn't want to win. It was the one who won, and <laughs> I, was, I, I was just like, they should have been out. Like, oh yeah, it was the people that came in fourth. Yeah, that... they should have been out. So it was so good. It was and... beautiful. Just because it makes everyone so mad. I, I, it's just I was. I, I can't say they're bad people. I think they're like <laughs> nice, entertaining people in some way, shape, or form. But I don't know. They just they kind of rode coattails, and then in the last one, just went "see ya, suckers." I guess it's a good strategy, except that they really couldn't have that strategy because they should have been kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch Noodle Eating Challenge though. The new one. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. It's offensive. What they've it's done. It's offensive. And you know, like the last two seasons, they tried to like get Phil to kind of like act like he was there. Like in the, in all the previous uh, Amazing Races, you know, Phil was always just sitting on the mat waiting on you to get there. Right. In the last two seasons, like they're getting off a boat and there's Phil, and there they go or whatever. They're doing the same thing now, but now it's just Phil in front of a green screen. It's like oh, he's not really? even really there, and it's so obvious. Anyway, they should replace him with the guy who was the uh, the voice <laughs> the voice of Utopia. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> You don't watch this, do you, MC? You know, don't, don't, don't. don't. Okay. It's bad. I'll watch Survivor and continue. The game is afoot, after all. I gotta keep, <laughs> gotta keep on it. Uh, okay, anything else to say about these shows? No. Yeah. All right, guys. Next week, 
Yep. Stay Bye. tuned for nudity, nudity. and drama. Yeah. Uh, I mean, next week on the Survivor Recap. Survivor Recap! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>